Today from Kemper Arena in Kansas City, it's the 12th annual McDonald's All-American Basketball Game. A sneak preview of the guys who will impact the college and pro ranks in the next decade. Well, we highlighted two guys, O'Neal and Edwards. Tell me about the two of them. Shaquille O'Neal's a big power inside player. He'll be at LSU, and they're going to really be excited. They'll have the twin towers, O'Neal and Roberts. Hey, Gary, we got an unbelievable guy. Now, relax. You wanted to know if you were on live. Don't get nervous. Make believe you're playing on a court. I want you to tell everybody out there the story about how you met Dale Brown. All right, it was in a um, basketball camp in West Germany. And then after the camp was over, I said, Coach Brown, how could I increase my jumping ability? And uh, he told me some stuff. And then, um, and then when I was getting ready to leave, he grabbed me and said, how long you been in the Army, soldier? I said, I'm not in the Army. I'm only 13. He yep. freaking out. I'll tell you one thing. They're excited about having you down at LSU. What about playing with Chris Jackson? He's the greatest guard I, I've ever seen. What about playing with Stanley Robertson? another seven footer how are they going to fit both you guys together Stanley will be on one side and I'll be on the other side or Stanley will be down low or I'll be outside like Perry I'll, I'll tell you one thing Shaquille it's really been a pleasure watching you play here and I know with this great size I know you want to tell everybody out there that you're not 6'11 how big are you seven foot even hey, I'll tell you one thing this guy can play Gary let's go back to you now Shaquille O'Neal will be a star at LSU baseline it comes into Cunningham the pass deflected out to Shaquille O'Neal, and he's got it in. Did you see that body control? What unbelievable balance and agility for a guy seven feet tall and about 260. Conrad McGray and O'Neal, he rejected it. What intimidation by Shaquille. On the move, Cunningham, pass to Thomas. He is fouled. Conrad McGray coming across to commit the foul. Look at Shaquille O'Neal. We're watching a seven-footer hanging in the air. Look at that balance. His body is so similar to a team the dream Olajuwon in terms of his body. Now look at his intimidation. He says no, Conrad, no. Michael Tate will be going to Maryland where there's so much controversy. Look at the back of the uh, That was Tracy Murray who set it up and the guy who won the slam dunk, you can see why, though he soared on that one. He's a 6'2 player. Watch him at halftime. They call him Hollywood. Ready for this, Gary? He scored 84 points in two games against Chris Jackson in high school. Here's Shaquille. Look at this guy the ball. He'll take it Cajuns are loving down there, won't they? The crowd is winning it on. Gary, hold me back, baby. <laughs> I saw him do that in practice this week. Oh. And he can do it in the game. There's Jackson, baseline to Tate. Oh. And intimidation by O'Neal again. Out it comes to Robinson. Three on two. Pulls up to Daryl Cunningham. Oh. Oh. Tracy Murray, who's headed to UCLA, is fouled. And the foul going on the baseline. I'm still jumping at my seat here. I can't believe this. Hey, take a look at this. He blocks the shot. We're looking at a seven-footer, 260 pounds. He's putting the rock to the deck, and now he says, get out of my way. And he explodes with a power jam. Akeem, the dream, Olajuwon, eat your heart out. Those NBA guys can't do this. He took off from the free throw line. Oh, my dear. I guarantee Magic Johnson would jump out of his seat watching this. So will Michael Jordan. Remember, we're looking at a seven-footer. We're looking at a guy 270. No, no, that's scary. <laughs> you see Golden, Golden put both his hands up in front of his face. He knew what was coming. Baseline Douglas. There's O'Neal. That's his fourth block of the game. Lynch can't get it to go, and Deion Thomas hauls it in. Tracy Murray has it taken away. Douglas, breakout. Comes to Hurley. Hurley protects the ball well, and he got it. He really sealed off the defensive player by protecting it with his body. He executes that exceptionally well. Robinson, three-pointer. Won't go. O'Neal's there. Look out. Oh. That's a man. That's a man. Capital M-A-N. A man. And what an infectious smile he is. What a great kid he is. Tremendous personality. His dad was in the service. As he can shoot this open shot. Bain doesn't get it to go. Falker tries to follow. Tracy Murray gets it out there. Robinson. See, Robinson's a scorer. Look out. And he's going to be called for charging. Gets up, slaps the floor. Early showed some courage staying in there and drawing the foul. I don't know if he showed his courage or if he's a little bit.
the dub, Mr. Hurley Sr. <laughs> Tell your son with that hamstring problem, get out of the way, baby. Look at him right here. He says, come on, big fella, run me over. Run me over. <laughs> you know what's amazing? He has the charging violation, but wasn't it impressive? Look at this right here, just watching him flying through the air. But look at him, though. Look at his expression. He slaps the floor. He's playing with enthusiasm. So it shows you a lot of offensive linemen, defensive linemen thus far in the draft. That shows you I don't know anything about this. No, no, no. I would no. have really known that Steve Walsh was going for the supplementary. I knew it, but I forgot it. I blew it. <laughs> Give me a turnover. Graham to Graham, and the ball is ricocheted off. Here's Shaquille O'Neal, and Shaquille tries to... Oh! Run. And he got it up and in, and he's fouled by Doug Edwards. The Big Ten is going to have quite a race again next year. Michigan returning most of their club, with the exception of Glenn. Rice, Illinois will be outstanding, Indiana, Ohio State, Michigan State will be improved. It'll be an unbelievable year again in the Big Ten. The conference that has the most players in this game, the ACC with seven, as Greg Graham follows. Here's Shaquille, and he finds his seat <laughs> on the way down. He's having fun out there. He really is having fun. Allen is a much better player than what we've seen out here. I watched him at the Nike camp as well. He can stroke the ball. He's one of the real premier shooters in high school basketball in the perimeter. Second all-time leading scorer in Louisville history, Red Ballard all-time, and there is going to be goaltending or a foul. Should be goaltending, without a doubt, plus a foul. As Barnes was the guy reaching in on Shaquille. Now there is Murray. What a sweet shooter he can be. Yeah, he's an excellent perimeter shooter. You average 40-some points a game like he did. He has ability to score inside and outside. Sixth block of the game for O'Neal. I'm just going by those. I watch him on the floor. I can't believe how good that kid can be. He has to work a lot, really, on his inside moves, developing a jump hook, some drop steps. I mean, he doesn't even know how to play the game right now. Look at this. And I tell you what, he is a fun kid to be around. They were ranked number two in the nation, and uh, that was their only loss. 35-1 and one for uh, Miami Senior High School. And Shaquille is fouled, and it's going to go on Doug Edwards. See, when I say he has to learn how to play, Shaquille still doesn't have inside all the kind of moves that big people, like when you look at the development now of a Patrick Ewing and Akeem Olajuwon. Thomas comes down with it. Houston, there's Shaquille. Oh, boy, and he's fouled. Hello, oh, Doug Edwards. And look at him laughing. Look at him laughing at each other. Edwards and Shaquille. <laughs> Is he having fun? Look at that infectious smile on his big guy. 100 points for the West. There he goes. There's the big guy. 7 foot, 260. Up, up, and away. Slam Jim Bammer. That's the fifth foul, by the way, on Edwards. As Shaquille uh, nails that, he's still smiling as he retreats defensively. 250 left in the game. Shaquille backs in and backs it in and down and through. Nice little setup right there. Go down into the big fella. Good entry into the box. Now well, Shaquille left that charge for the West. 18 points, 16 rebounds, 6 block shots. And uh, some guys who made some lasting friendships this week going after each other and congratulating each other. And here comes the West MVP as we anticipated. Shaquille O'Neal, that's no surprise. Hurley with the assist today, tying the record, and here comes the 6'11 Giant. Look at the crowd, they love it. Shaquille O'Neal, most valuable player. A BT Pier, baby, a prime time performer. Woo!